So, yeah, thank you all for coming. Oh, I'm excited to be with you. And thank you. Um, hi, ladies. Uh, so, yeah, as she mentioned, this is a very personal. Um, can you all hear me? Yeah. Yeah. It's a personal uh, uh, exhibition for me. The most personal exhibition I've ever given because uh, it is about the process of losing someone that is close to, to me. Um, the gallery asked me to do an exhibition in February, and in February the post was clear. There was no problem. Nobody was dying. Nobody was sick even. Um, but then, um, so I said yes, that would be great. And uh, I was actually in Florida at the time. And uh, then I, we came back up north in the spring, and uh, almost immediately, my mother, it was uh, Easter weekend. My mom came for a weekend with my brother. And she had, we didn't know it, she had a stroke. Um, in fact, she had 20 to 30 strokes, actually, but we didn't know this at the time. Uh, she didn't lose her uh, facial uh, muscle. She was, a, she, she was still in, uh, the stuff that I had been taught to look for in somebody who had had a stroke was not the stuff I saw. So, um, anyway, so, so that's what, you know, that's what precipitated this. And that was mid-April, which was the return to Canada um, for me. I'm a snowbird with my husband, David, and uh, that big camera. And, <laughs> uh, anyways, he, so I, I really didn't have, um, I wasn't able to paint especially for it this exhibition. I mean, I did some pieces, but I wasn't able to create a, a whole new body of work. But I had just, uh, at that time, I had just started painting this Exhale series. And how, you know, it just, it's like my, the stars aligned or something, because it was like the perfect, um, it was the perfect series for me to get caught up in, with, uh, in terms of like mentally, and like it's very calming and soothing to paint these broad strokes of color and, and they're uh, compared to some of my works they're um, much more they breathe more uh, you know so it, it really felt very to me very breathy it was it just, my breathing would slow down I would calm down as I was painting them and I just felt as soon as you know mid-April came around and we had to start talking about what paintings were coming here I just this was the series that I felt was the most uh, natural to bring here, um, like it just fit perfectly to me. So there are pieces from other series as well um, that are dotted around, and also they've done a wonderful job. Um, I wrote, I, I don't know if I made mean, these, I saw a few people reading some of these. It, this is all um, what I wrote when I was in the hospital with my mother. When you're in the hospital with somebody over a long period of time, there are, there's a lot of hours and minutes and just time that goes by and you hear everything. And especially if you are unable to have a dialogue with the people around you, um, I think, you know, and as an artist, you know, I start thinking, oh, I'll just write that down. You know, I'll just make a little drawing of this or that, or, you know, and then my brother would pop in or my dad would pop in. I, I spent most nights um, on a stretcher next to my mom and her, in, in her hospital room. So uh, they were really kind and they gave me bedding and whatnot. So I didn't have to sleep in a chair. I, they gave me, it was a, uh, an emergency stretcher. And um, so I just, I spent so much time in this place that, um, you know, I, I, you just, your mind wanders and you start, I started documenting everything. I documented the sound of her breath. I documented how her neck felt. Um, I documented the pearl, the white pearl. I didn't want to forget anything because I knew, uh, we all knew that the end was coming. And I just, I think probably a lot of people who've gone through loss go through this moment where uh, like, um, you just realize that you don't want to forget those details about that person because if you don't write them down or somehow take pictures or something that maybe your memory might fail you and you might forget that what may be an insignificant detail to other people that is significant to you. So um, anyways, I don't mean for this to be a, a all sad because it, it is sad for me, but um, art painting in particular 
um, is my uh, it's my way of of kind of getting out of getting out of my head in a sense, like listening to great music, and I sing really loudly in my studio, um, and I paint, and um, that is what I've been doing. And my mom died May twenty seventh, um, and uh, since then I've been doing well. There's a lot of stuff I've been doing, but I have been getting in my studio more, and I've been painting, and um, with a fury, and um, so I, 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 my, and being an artist, my mother left me a lot of art supplies as well. Um, I've gone through all her art supplies. She didn't paint in the last couple of years, so a lot of her acrylics were dried up, and a lot of her stuff was broken or gone or whatever, it just wasn't good anymore. Um, but I, I managed to find quite a bit, I mean, she's a lifelong artist, she still has stuff, as all artists do. Um, and she left us with quite a formidable body of work, um, which we ended up letting people, from close friends of the family and, and family members, choose pieces for themselves, because what are we going to do, we're all artists, we only have so much wall space. So, uh, anyways, most of it was picked through, I, I happen to have these in, in the car with me, because that's what I do, I travel with this stuff now. And um, I, so I, I, I told uh, Phoebe about it, and she said, well, we can put some out just uh, to, so that we can show what your mother did. Um, but as I said, these are not the, 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 the my mother's won Governor General Awards for, for her art. So these are not that caliber. These are the ones that are left behind. Um, uh, she was an excellent artist, and uh, she's the person who inspired me to become an artist and encouraged me to be brave and to do what I do, because I, I, gosh, I thought I was going to be an insurance salesman. <laughs> 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 um, but she never, she always saw through that, and she thought that I should be an artist. And I, I, I just thought that, you know, I would go with the money, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know, you have these ideas when you're younger, and um, I was hopeless at any, I, my father was an insurance broker, as well as being an artist. And uh, I, I did some very brief summer job in his office where I just had to do some filing, and I was hopeless at it, so that, that didn't last long. Um, yeah. So um, I guess we could do the tour. It's uh, not a huge, not not a huge tour, but it's a little tour. <laughs> so uh, yeah, my mom and I. Um, if you have the time to read the writings, I would encourage you to do that. Um, uh, as I said, you know, some of these. This is all acrylics. Um, one of the things I like to do with acrylics is, uh, yeah, I use a lot of water. That makes it. Um, very, uh, you get these wonderful transparencies and it's like watercolor. Um, and uh, as you can see, two very different styles here. Yes, this is the same person. Um, I'll get back to this piece at the end. Um, we'll continue, we'll go through this way, I think. So, um, I, yeah, these are all very, like uh, to me these are all very anatomical. Um, they're all about, they are about breathing and slowing down my thought process because I can get very um, congested in my head in terms of thoughts. And um, so doing, this is, a, like, and this is truly an exercise for me of calm, right? Just trying to calm the, calm the crazy that goes on the day to day. Um, little did I know, like I said, little did I know what was coming. So it was a good exercise before, it's this, the calm before the storm in a sense, right? Um, and, and there's quite a few pieces that are, are sort of in the same, um, these are all the exhale series. Um, there is a pause, now that was part of the writings that I did. They, they just, it just all seemed to meld. I feel like somehow, uh, I don't know, like I, I, I'm not superstitious, I'm not really, uh, I'm not particularly religious, 
but I do believe that there was something, like, I feel like there was something. Everything came together the, the right way, and it was all, um, you know, it was all, uh, it was all about taking time and taking, making a pause uh, and, and breathing and relaxing. This is called All in the Plan. Um, it is not a religious painting. Uh, it's, it's just, uh, to me, this is um, a very different piece. This is from my intent, called, a series called Intent, where I did uh, much bolder, stronger lines that um, are more of a solid color. There's many layers. Uh, it's, it's just very intentional. Um, so that's. As you can see, dotted through uh, the, the, the exhibition, uh, they printed out, I have a sketchbook, this is the sketchbook that I brought with me to, um, to, to the hospital, when I would be sitting at the end of my, on my little cot, I would be drawing because there wasn't really a whole lot else to do. So um, I had reserved one page, the, the opening, the front page, page one, of my sketchbook, which is here tonight, and we can show it to you uh, if you want to see it. Um, uh, it's, it's kind of fragile. It's also super precious to me because in on the first page of that journal is this, which is my mom's last drawing that she ever did. It's her last time she signed her name, and um, it, it's hard for me to look at this because the count, this is post-stroke. So she had had about 20 to 30 strokes, they said, and then she still managed to do something. She, she was reluctant. She, I think she knew in her mind, she, not even in her mind, she knew when she did it that she didn't have full control over what she was uh, creating. This is what she would do. This is just a small print that I have. The originals are big poppies, nice, beautiful, big poppies. Um, and she was, I think she was a very talented artist, of course, that's subjective, but I, I really do, she taught art. Um, so I have, here's the original. Um, and uh, I had saved this opening page for her, because I wanted, I wanted her to be somewhat, I, I wasn't planning this, I wasn't planning to show it, I, I mean, this was just for me personally. Um, and, you know, I would do these drawings, to turn the pages of this here. Um, so some of these are not, okay, yes, this one is here. And then I, I, what I did is I scanned these all in and then I wrote, uh, I wrote like a, a poem or pieces that just thoughts and um, captured ideas that I had when I was sitting there in the room. It's actually, you're welcome to take a look at this book here, which is the book I put it all into. Um, it's one of those one-time, one-off print things, but I, I wanted to put it somewhere where I could remember it, and um, if I wanted, I wanted to share it here. Uh, I should also warn you: there's photographs in here as well, and um, if you, they can be upsetting to people because there's, I, I was documenting the process. Um, there's no dead people, but there's my mother's pro dying processes. In, there are photographs of my mom in bed as, as she is dying. So I should just tell you right now, so if that's gonna upset you, you'd probably be best not to look through it. <laughs> um, these also, I'm gonna just put this down, but this is my, uh, so this is, this is also acrylic. Um, as you can see, this is very different from the pieces, the, the Exhale series. This, the Exhale series is translucent, it's uh, very watery, like watercolors, and this is almost like a ceramic or, uh, you know, but it's, it's uh, poured paint. Um, I used uh, acrylic pouring medium to create those, so, and, and I, of course, put a super gloss, I felt like it was like, it's almost like a new car, like a new Ferrari, you know? those kind of colors. Um, and, uh, and there's also motion there too. Uh, I used to be a scuba diver. So I think a lot of, and 
I would say this is probably even true of the exhale series, is a lot of it has that very fluid feeling. And I think it's because of those days when I worked as a scuba diver, and um, you know, you drift through the, the currents and, through, and around the coral, and, and things bubble, and, and I think if you know that I did that, you see it in my artwork as well. Um, To me, it's almost like up in the clouds, you know, she's, um, and, and we went home too. And, you know, when she finally passed, uh, you know, we, we knew that it was coming. Um, our family is very pragmatic and um, we just wanted it to be uh, so that my mom wouldn't suffer, that it wouldn't be extended. And she was on this crazy cocktail of like, all kinds of opioids or whatever they give you, dilated or whatever. Um, so I don't think she actually suffered. I think she was just really high when she died. And um, that was the best way to go. But it was, a, in a sense, I don't want to say relief, but you know when, when you watch somebody go through this and then they go and you're just like, okay, they're done. Phew. And I can go home, I can start picking up the pieces, um, and you know, so can you know? Hopefully, my father will. He's not doing great right now. I had hoped he would come, uh, but I think it's just too uh, it's too raw for him. So uh, here I am with my husband. Um, I, I have to get put my glasses on to read the names because I know they're all like breath related. <laughs> um, this one is called Out of Breath, and the waiting is over. So uh, it's pretty, it's the end of the story, uh, almost, because actually there's one more painting. Well, there's uh, Sweet Apple. And that one doesn't refer to breathing, but I do feel like it's, it's a bit, yes, lungs, thank you. <laughs> and um, the reason I called it Sweet Apple, to me it looks like a Macintosh apple, but there's something very, um, it, it simulates the, the senses, right? Smell is the thing that we remember, supposedly, when you smell something, that is the, the, the sense that brings back the earliest memories, I'm told. So, um, so smell. 
smell is another, you know, it's, it's smell we inhale, we breathe um, through our noses. And that, to me, it was all sort of, uh, it's related. So that, that, uh, that crisp um, Macintosh apple scent, it just brings me back to my childhood. So that's what that one's about. Um, and that's why the name is slightly different, but it really is about, again, smelling and breathing. Um, so lastly, I wanted to bring you back to where we started in that corner, because there's one more painting that I want to talk about. This painting. And this painting is called The Big Send-Off. And... Um, started it with her paints and like I said a lot of them were gummy and dried up and you know she hadn't done it she didn't she had a mild dementia for a couple years and I think that kind of she lost her her desire to uh, to make art actually and um, she she also was diagnosed with uh, bladder cancer but it was only stage one you know so she, she had a lot of things that were quite wrong but not severely quite wrong if that makes any sense um, it was, like I said, the strokes that got her. Um, but this painting I started after she died. It was the first one that I started from scratch after she died. And it is called The Big Send-Off. And um, I just, oh, I just drew on the paint and thick, thick paint and it was tactile and it reminds me of chewing gum and it reminds me of all the things that um, <laughs> going on my head. <laughs> this is probably closer to what goes on in my head on a day-to-day -day basis <laughs> than that. Um, although I, I love that. And this is truly an exercise in discipline for me. So this was just getting it all out. And um, yeah, this is my farewell to my mom. So, uh, so that's it. This is, I guess that's all I can say. Um, does anybody have any questions? Are you going to go to all this? Yeah. Okay. I, I, yeah. yeah. I, I can't keep my art. Yeah. <laughs>